Okay, so it is the 28th of November 2023 and once again, unfortunately, Downloader has been deleted from the Google Play Store, which means people with Android TVs such as the ONN box that I reviewed are unable to download and install Downloader. Or are they? Of course, they're still able to. This guide's going to show you how. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. OK, so as you can see, I've got my Android phone there. So what we need to do is we need to go into Chrome. Let's just go into that. And then where it's got search or type URL, tap in there. And we need to have a look at C-W-T-E-K dot co dot UK forward slash D that's C W T E K dot co dot UK forward slash D and then press the enter or return button just down there and there we'll go to my website so just swipe downwards or upwards if any adverts come up just get rid of them let's just go back up and what we're looking for there is downloader and tap on the actual word downloader okay and then it will start downloading the file as you can see there hopefully this won't take long it's quite a small file but please be aware at times the servers could be busy because this has been removed from the play store so uh, obviously there may be more, a lot more people downloading than normal so there we go it's now downloaded so what we need to do is let's just come out of that and we need to go into the play store so that's this icon just here go into that go into search at the top and type send space files space to space tv and there we go. Once you've seen it come up there, just tap on send files to TV. And then what you're looking for is this icon just here with the two arrows. So tap on install. Let it download and install again. Might take a few moments to install it and download it, but just be patient with it. And there we are. It's now installing. Hopefully shouldn't be too long. That's it installed. So now let's go to the Android TV and then what we want to do is we want to search for the same thing so send files to TV so let's send files to TV so I've just spoken to it there we go there's the app just there so uh, let's go down to install middle button now I know at the moment I do have downloader already installed on my system but that's because I downloaded it before it was pulled from the app store but this method will still work if you haven't got it installed. So, OK, so uh, let's just open this and then have a look through the guide. And then we do need to make sure that we allow send files to TV to access photos, media and files on your device. So make sure that allows highlighted middle button. And here we go. So because I've got Android 11, we need to allow access to uh, send files to TV. So we need to go down to allow just there. So it says select allow to go into the settings panel of this application, select permissions and select storage, select allow all files access or always allow. It may be different depending on your device. So let's just do that. So let's go to permissions middle button storage let's go into that there we go in actual fact on this one it's come up allow management of all files so allow this app to access and modify and delete files on the device or any kind of storage devices this app may access files without asking you it's okay to do this so highlight allow press the back button on the remote and back button again let's keep going back let's Go to receive. There we go. So it currently says no transfers in progress. So let's go back to our mobile phone. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. So what we want to do is want to open this now and we want to send from our mobile phone. So tap send. 
So in order to send and receive files to TV, uh, send files to TV needs your permission to read and write files on your device. OK, so we're going to need to tap allow on there. And then we're going to go into the downloads folder. And there we go. There's our downloader. So we need to tap downloader. And it's saying, where do we want to send it? That's where I want to send it to my ONN 4K streaming box. So tap that. And as you can see, there you go. That has now been transferred to the TV. So let's just get rid of the phone. So let's just come back out of this. Just press the back button, keep going back. And what we need to do now is we need to we need to get our remote control. We need to make sure that's highlighted. Download at APK, middle button, and then it gives us an option here to either open, stop or remove from list. We need to make sure that open is highlighted. So middle button. And here we go. For your security, Android does not allow your phone stroke smart TV to install unknown apps from any applications except Google Play Store by default. You should allow unknown source app from your system settings. So it ho hopefully show settings has been highlighted. So if it is middle button, and there we go. We need to go down to send files to TV and we need to turn that on. So as you can see, it's showing not allowed at the moment. So we need to turn that on and there you go. That is now allowed. So let's press the back button and let's make sure that downloader from your phone or your tablet is highlighted again. Middle button, middle button again. And there we go. So it's now saying, do you want to update this app? Or it will say if you've not got download or installed, do you want to install the app? So just go to update or install middle button, let it install. And at the moment, because mine is already installed, it says it conflicts with an existing package. So that's OK. So then what we want to do is we can either keep this on our Fire Team. We can either keep this on our Google device just in case it's removed from the store in future or we can remove it. Let's go back and then what we can do is we can go up to this icon just up here in the top right middle button. And there we go. There it is. So like I say, we can either keep it on there or we can remove it. If you want to remove it, just highlight it, hold down the middle button, then let go after a few seconds, go down to delete middle button. And there you go, middle button again. So there you go. That guide showed you how you can put Downloader back on your Android TV now that it's been removed from the Play Store. Hopefully, like before, it'll be reinstated in next to no time. I hope you like this guide. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel or have a look in the description down below or have a look at my Amazon store. There's a link to it down below. Also, if you're in the market for a new VPN, a Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube or Fire Stick accessories, there's some links down there too. Donating, buying or subscribing really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time into researching and bringing you these videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you and maybe even save you some time and money.